Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel and we're actually at the allotment today, we're at home and we're going to have a look at what's in our storeroom because my mind's kind of turning now a little bit to continuity of supply. You know, we started off with so much stuff in the store and now it's pretty depleted uh, and, uh, you know, I'm looking to see will I have enough stuff growing uh, on the allotment to keep us going. So I thought I'd start by taking a look at the alliums. Now in the ground, obviously, we've got lots of garlic uh, and overwintered onions, but we've also got loads of spring onions, and the variety that we've grown is stir-on, and so stir-on is a um, bulbin onion, and so if we need to, we can leave some of those uh, in the ground as well and let those bulb up, but they're all doing pretty well, but, you know, we're still many months away from having onions, so let's uh, take a quick look. So these shallots have kept amazingly well, but as you can see, we've got a few now that are starting to grow. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I should just plant those and then garlic wise actually we're doing pretty well um, we did have quite a lot start to uh, to sprout but I think that was all I can't remember between the soft necks and hard necks but anyway basically it was the uh, one of those two and what's left they're keeping pretty well so we've got uh, quite a few weeks worth there and then these are the the worst of the onions um, but we cleaned them up, we did get a little bit of dusty mould on the surface of a few of them. Um, we took those outer skins off and they're keeping pretty well now. And then the red onions are really good. All these onions by the way were all grown from seed as well as the schlots. So I'm pretty pleased with the uh, allium situation and I think we stand a good chance of having something to eat from the allotment before we run out of this lot. In particular with the garlic because we've got lots of green garlic growing and uh, that's going quite strong so yeah I think we'll have plenty. So next up we've got the potatoes and I'm going to look at the baking potatoes first because um, obviously we're going to run out of baking potatoes way before we get uh, new baking potatoes on the allotment so let's take a look at now, these are the ones that were stored in straw and these are the ones that were stored in um, just bags just uh, carb uh, not cardboard um, paper bags and I would say these are doing fantastically and you could probably see just a little tiny bit of mould on some of these that were stored in the straw so I think I'll just be sticking with the uh, with the big thick uh, paper bags next time and I'm pleased I actually took all these out because obviously I can kind of clean these up a little bit and we can be eating those. Um, some of them are fine, but some of them, yep, they're ready to be eaten now. So that's the running total of stuff that uh, needs to be eaten up soon. And there's the uh, baking potatoes, and there's about 40 there. And we definitely don't get through more than a few a week, maybe two, maybe three. So there's at least 10 weeks, maybe more, three months worth there. And there's no way they're gonna last for three months. So I think we're at the point now where we need to start giving some more of these away. And now we're on to the general purpose potatoes. And they're looking pretty good. Although you can see there's still quite a few of them sprouting. So again, they're probably only going to last maybe four weeks or so. Uh, it's just warming up now, you know, and as soon as it gets warm, no matter how dark and cool you keep them, they can't... Uh, can't stop them sprouting but I'm not too worried because we are definitely almost certainly anyway going to have uh, new potatoes within four weeks uh, all the new potatoes are doing really nicely in the polytunnel at the moment uh, they're really well on um, and they were planted at the beginning of January so definitely by the end of April they should be ready so next up's the um, carrots. Now, on the allotment at the moment, we've got quite a lot of carrots growing, um, mostly in containers, but we've also got a big coal frame full. But I doubt I'm gonna have any until probably May time. And so we've got to get through what's left of March and all of April and definitely sometime into May. So at least two months, maybe a little bit more, maybe three. Uh, so let's look at what we've got in store. So I've been storing in these containers, and these are actually the containers that they grew in. 
so this one's in pretty dry compost and actually these carrots they look okay but they don't look fantastic um, these carrots are the ones out of the damper compost and they look in much better condition actually um, and we've got another one of these containers as well in the garage just can't be bothered to carry it outside so that's the carrot situation and I think we've got at least two months worth of carrots there if we can keep them in good condition and stop them going to seed and I'm thinking I'm going to cut these tops off as well so now we're on to the beetroot and I've actually got probably more beetroot coming on on the allotment than I have carrots uh, a variety quite a few different types so I've got bull's blood which have overwintered uh, and then I've got quite a few that I've planted um, this year as well and the stuff in stores do really well as well I think it does store better than carrots so we do tend to transition over to beetroot a little bit but uh, yeah we definitely need to get a move on so we've got three of these containers full uh, of beetroot and so these are just this, this one's full and that's just the dregs of another one and so they're red beetroot their cylindra and you can see the quality of those is really excellent um, very happy with those and they're just planted basically in these moist uh, wood chips two layers and the same with these golden beetroot now the golden beetroot don't store quite as long I find as the um, red beetroot but that might just be because we eat more of the golden ones I don't know um, anyway so I so say we've got two two layers of the golden beetroot in these containers um, and then we've got another container there that's about two-thirds full and another one here that's nearly full so apart from that we've got lots of fruit lots of berries still in the freezer we've got a few beans some more gooseberries and stuff like that in there and so now we're on to the fruit and obviously we don't have very much fruit but we did make a big effort to dehydrate a lot of the apples and pears last year and that has been fantastic so we store them in these um, cool bags and we always store them closed so they get the uh, no light coming in there and so these are all apples and this is a deceptively large number of apples hundreds of apples in there and then there's apples and pears in here and so this won't last us all the way through until we've got new apples and pears but uh, yeah it's been fantastic we've it's definitely saved us a fortune because i eat a lot of um, dried apples and pears over winter they're a great snack food and i love them in my granola as well and yeah, so that, and they're really expensive, so yeah, it's quite a few hundred pounds worth of uh, stuff in there for them. So that is pretty much it, apart from the preserves. And we've got quite a nice collection of uh, various different sauces here. And we've got some apples and syrup and pickled onions, some lovely jams and jellies and things like that. Uh, some more onions here, some pickled beans, and that in there. but yeah, more pickled beans and the like. So, quite a nice collection of preserves, and they will probably last us actually. Obviously, we've been giving a lot of these away as presents and using them all through winter. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Obviously, uh, the vast majority of what we eat is still fresh off the lot. Um, well, way more than 10 times more than the stuff that we take out of store but the store still provides some uh, a really useful uh, extra variety to the diet so there we go what's in your store how are you doing and how's the allotment uh, ramping up now i'll see you soon